Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and today I want to talk about Windows 7 and, H and the HP Mini 1000. Now I got a question from JP. He asked me, uh, hey, I was wondering how and what build you use to install Windows 7 on the HP Mini. Also, is the built-in webcam automatically recognized by Ubuntu and Windows 7? Is there anything that I can expect not to work that I did when I originally got the laptop. I have it installed on my desktop and I'm very happy with it. I'm just slightly worried about messing up my brand new HP Mini 1035NR. Okay JP, um, if you're wondering which build I installed for uh, on my HP Mini 1000, it was the official release uh, beta that, that Microsoft released to everyone um, during their public beta. I don't know the build number. But it's that one. It, it's not an internal build. It's not something special you have to do. If you download the one that Microsoft offered to everyone, that's the same one that I use. Now, some things to note when installing Windows 7, obviously you know, unless you bought one, you don't have an external optical drive. Uh, so installing becomes a matter of putting the files on an external device such as a USB drive. And I use this is actually the same drive. I use this USB drive to install Windows 7 on my HP Mini. Now, if you go to my blog at buona.org, and I'm going to put the direct link in the show description, uh, I wrote up a detailed tutorial on how to do this, on how to use a USB drive to install Windows 7. And why did I do that? Because it wasn't straightforward as I thought it would be. Uh, I have detailed instructions on how to format the stick, on how to, um, how to partition it, and how to activate the partitions on this thing so that when you boot from it on your HP Mini it'll actually start the installation process. Um, not as obvious as you might think. Uh, I, when I first started it I thought it was going to be easy but there was a couple little things that I didn't foresee and I wrote up a good tutorial that's helped a bunch of people with not just the HP Mini but other machines. Um, so that's the build I installed but check out that blog post on other tips and tricks. Is the built-in webcam automatically recognized by Ubuntu and Windows 7? Now, Ubuntu, I imagine it will be because HP released a special version of Ubuntu for their latest HP Mini uh, machine. It's not the 1035NR that you and I have, but it is a machine with Ubuntu. So the drivers, are, they do exist. And from, from what I recall, HP does offer this Ubuntu special image for you to download. You can actually try it on there. Um, but for Windows 7, the webcam works fine. It, it works flawlessly. I don't have any problems with it. As far as anything else that doesn't work, the only thing I could not get to work, and I think it's a sound driver issue, is the internal microphone. Um, apparently, the, the, the microphone just doesn't work anymore. And uh, somebody sent me an email about this, and they were like, well, it worked before, and it doesn't work anymore. And I was like, hey, it's not working, because I, I've never used the internal mic on it. I, I always had a... You know, I, my webcam that I attached to it, I had an external webcam. I didn't use the internal one. It had a microphone built in, so I used that microphone. Um, but I, I, I never used the internal microphone until I tried it, and it didn't work. So I don't know if that's the same issue on Ubuntu, but definitely on Windows 7, there's an issue with the, uh, the uh, sound drivers in terms of the built-in microphone. Um, you have it installed on your desktop, you're very happy with it. Other than that, it works fine. Uh, so I say go for it. It's not going to damage the, har the hardware at all. Um, I, and, uh, you know, the worst thing that will happen is that you'll have to revert to the previous, uh, your previous install, Windows XP or whatever you had installed on it before. So I say go for it, man. Put Windows 7 on there. Even better, try Ubuntu. You know, let me know how it goes. And, uh, you know, you're going to have fun with it regardless because Windows 7 and the HP Mini, they seem like they were built for each other. And Ubuntu as well. That Ubuntu OS looks very nice that, that HP kind of packaged and put a front end on for novices on Linux. All right, this is Warner from Warner.tv. Hope I answered your question, JP, regarding Windows 7 on the HP Mini and quirks and install procedures. Take care.